moldy down there and I'm thinking I might be able to pick up another shirt some cheap socks I don't really want to buy new clothes but there is a gig this evening a house concert and if I'm going to attend that I have to be clean so we got sunscreen four bucks fitness shorts 13 bucks thought they were cheaper than that and two single tops eight bucks and these wires, which are four bucks, honestly, I thought they were two dollars. I haven't been to Newcastle in over a decade. But when I used to come here and play gigs and stuff, more than any other city in Australia, I would always get yelled at out of passing cars. Like, the local population were trying to tell me something, you know. They'd always be like, faggot! Or dickhead! It used to happen all the time, so I'm curious to see whether it's changed, whether I've changed, what's going on. to me actually because I need to go to the toilet is when I was on tour in 2006 I think we were downtown and I was like where's the bathroom and there was this really dirty bathroom behind the shopping center it was like it hadn't been cleaned since 1970 or something so I walk in with my guitar and there's a man masturbating in the urinal now he wasn't just you know he wasn't just doing the post pee shake he was having a good old tug so you know, he, he was about the age that I am now, but this was nearly 20 years ago, so I was, I was pretty freaked out. I mean, if it happened now, I'd just, you know, open my mouth and say, oh. Do you want a hand in there, mate? Nah, mate, it's all under control, don't even worry about it. I'm sure you don't want a hand, mate. Maybe it's just the sugar. I feel like that's what I'm going to do. That's on the tequila and I've been following. Put that cutlery away. You know, no, I don't food. really want to do that. <laughs> choice is yours to choose. sleep gotta say I really really like Newcastle today I want to walk about 50 k's up the coastline the goal is to get to a place called Forster by Wednesday see you guys see you mate yeah. have, have a good a, walk will do have a good day see you mate All right. good luck thanks <laughs>
go to Cannes and Mountain and just got my bottle filled up with water here at the KFC. Now Dino was telling me, and I haven't looked it up to verify, but Dino used to live up the road here in a little place called Saltash. And apparently the Air Force has a base and used to use fire retardant and just wash it down the drain and it went into the main water supply. So for 20 years, the locals from here up to Nelson Bay were drinking contaminated water and a lot of people got cancer all around this area. It's like a cancer zone because of the water. Now there's probably a bit of PFAS in this water. Apparently it's not so much a problem if you have one bottle of water with PFAS in it, but these people were growing vegetables, drinking it every day. And I've never heard of this. Must have made the newspaper. Haven't Googled it yet. Probably not gonna bother. But that's what Dino told me. This was published six years ago. What's happening to the water in Williamtown? The water around Williamtown RAAF base near Newcastle may look clear and clean, but it's brewing with noxious chemicals and both local residents and fishermen are scared. It's crazy. Good news, they've got a shuttle bus, so I don't have to actually hitch a ride. We'll take an extra day and we'll go back around Newcastle. So. Yeah, well it's not it's not actually closed. Oh okay. Yeah. It's just it's been a work area. Yeah. Because it's the defined work area, you can't have pedestrians or push bikes apparently. Ah, oh, fair enough. Been a few of the bike riders chuck a dark. What, just like go across? No, yeah. they just stop them, they won't lay on. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, oh, I should be allowed to go across, you know. Oh, yeah. And it's alright going down the other end, but where it cuts back to one lane and sometimes it's pretty busy. Yeah. I don't know what speed a push bike can do going up the hill. Yeah. Wouldn't be 40k, that's for sure. <laughs> So you'd have a long line of traffic ready to drive straight over the top of it. Yeah, right. Thanks a lot mate, that was heaps better than having to walk all the way back. <laughs> Have a good one. sitting here in the Williamstown McDonald's. I'm not sure when I'll be able to upload more videos because I'm heading north and there's lots of national park. I don't know where there's internet and also I don't always have ability to edit when I'm on the road. But I should upload in the next five days or so. And regarding the water in this area, I don't know the story 
I just find it surprising that we know more about the water in Flint, Michigan in the USA and the way that was poisoned than we do about potential things like that happening in our own backyard here in Australia. So if you do know anything about it, please leave a comment. I'm just going to sit here and edit and upload this video. It's about 30 k's onwards down the road to Nelson Bay. It's been a hot day. I got my jacket on because the air conditioning in here is freezing. But yeah, I think I can be quite nice walking through the afternoon, set up the hammock somewhere. And then tomorrow morning I'll get the ferry from Nelson Bay up to Tea Garden. I think it's called Tea Garden. But yeah, feeling good. It's been a great adventure. It was great seeing Evan and the boys in Newcastle, hanging out on the beach, playing some shows. Um, yeah, it was awesome. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe, like the video, tell your friends, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll be releasing videos of my adventure as I go up the coast. Where am I? Just north of Newcastle. Should be in Brisbane in about five, six weeks.